What's up everybody, Nanan here, and I am doing a Minecraft 15W3060 snapshot review of 1.9. So here are some end rods, which I used to do, like a little bit of a setup as we walk towards our first thing, which is the skeleton. And this is now how they hold it when they're not aggroed in their hand, like so. And then when they get aggroed, you can see... They pull it back, and they actually pull back the bow before they fire, which is really cool. And then here is a new mob, it's the Soccer, the Shocker, and it has between 31 and 40 health. It shoots levitation potions, so if we would get hit, we would begin to levitate. Now the zombie has a new animation when they're trying to hit, and when he's just walking. Whole new animation. Which see there we just got hit and it makes us levitate, which does some damage unless you can do something like this. And now we are getting targeted. We need to make them crash into a mountainside. <laughs> We're running, we don't want to levitate. That's too cool. Alright, so now we just skip past, right past this. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm, I can't deal with it. So now, we are here at the new damage and attack speed. The attack speed for Diamond X is 0.9 and it does 10 damage, so that's really good. The attack speed for the shovel is 1, is one attack speed, 5.5 damage. A diamond pickaxe is a little bit faster, 1.2 attack speed, and a little bit less of damage with 5 attack damage. 1.45 attack speed for the diamond sword on 7 attack damage. And for the diamond hoe, it is the quickest of all the diamond weaponry with 4 attack speed, but also the slowest to kill with only 1 attack damage. There's some new food now in, my, in the game. There is beetroot, and beetroot, it heals about half hunger bar, and it takes three bone meal to grow. Beetroot soup heals three full hunger bars, and that really does a hefty toll. You can add some more room on your mob wall head showcase, because you can now collect ender dragon heads. Which I think, in my opinion, that's pretty cool, you can get some ender dragon heads. I'm gonna like to see some of that. They now have, they have added shields to the game, as well as some lingering potions and some arrows, which we'll get into that a little bit later, which they also added some map zooming. If you go around with the paper, it zooms out and you get to see more, and if you want to just zoom in a bit, put some shears next to your map in the crafting bench, and it really does a good amount of damage, and it, no, it really zooms in a lot. So now let's go over here, and let's spawn in uh, a skeleton. Oh. oh my god. Don't die off on me, friend. Okay, there. Now we'll spawn you. So what we can do is we can pull out our shield and an axe. And if we go into game mode S, and we right click... Buddy, back here, buddy. If we right click, it takes away all damage. We don't get hit at all. So we can just keep backing away without taking any damage. But as soon as your back is turned, even if you're right clicking, if it hits you, you do take damage. So you need to be facing where it's getting shot at. And then you can go like that. So that's the new feature to the game, which I personally like a lot, the shield, but you can only do one at a time. You, can only, you can't just go running around shielding and punching. You have to take your shield down and hit, and then go like that, and then that's really good mechanism. Another thing, they have lingering potions, so let's say we take some damage, and well, we can't do it, but if we run into this. We get regeneration for however long. Now, also, you can use bad potions. Like, ah, now we're poisoned forever. And ever. And ever. 
another cool feature to the game is when you shoot with the with a specific type of air spectral arrow which i mean you have to at least hit your target and not kill it there it died it died i'm not trying to put too much force into it i want it to get hit all right just like that you can go and you can't even see it like actually see it but as long as you make contact you'll be able to see where it is and then you know exactly where your target is to be able to finish the kill like this and that and this wait it's shave oh my god that's a skinny sheep die 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 Oh yeah, so it's, that's a pretty cool thing. Also, as you might have just caught that there, you can now collide with mobs again. So I can just push this sheep, I can't run through it. I have to push it around like a boss. So, that's pretty much it, except there are a couple new blocks which are really cool. You might have saw them at the beginning. You got the end stone, no, purper blocks which add really cool effect like you can really make some awesome builds with these and you got the endstone brick that's what I was thinking of right away and that's pretty much all there is so far to the 1.9 15w36d snapshot so I'd like to thank you all for watching I hope you all enjoyed leave any questions down below in the comment section and if this did help you out at any time get to understand 1.9 Make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and tell me what you want to see me review next. I will see you all next time. Peace out.